Hey, what's happening everyone? Welcome back to my Train Simulator series. It's been a few days since I did my recent updates on this series in which I would have done the first Mariah's Pass challenge on driving a train from Blackfoot. Well, Shelby to Blackfoot at that. I will continue uh, doing some tasks on this, uh, on this route. I'm still to do some tasks on the Isle of Wight and I uh, not long done the Electro Star for the London to Brighton line, which was done off screen. So I'll be doing a, another task, and the Great Western line still has two easy tasks to do. And because it has the least tasks, I'll be doing this one. The Oxford to Reading local, which I will be driving a class 166 MSE from Oxford to Reading. And it's not like the previous task, which was chasing yellows, which I drove a high speed train. But unlike, unlike that task, I'm going to have to stop at a number of stations on this one. Let's get right to it. Let's go inside our machine. So I'll be assuming that we're starting from Oxford. Which is where we are. There we go. Pick up passengers from Oxford 1. No harm done. Since I'm already at Oxford 1. There you go, centre player. Show task. Yep, I'm at the right station. And there's eight stations to go to. Wow. This is going to be very, very dull. Let's have a look at the train itself. Oh, that was a bit of a fail. We got a there, start, a decent side side shot. Well, uh, we'll leave the lights off. That's what the horn sounds like. I think I only have a, a few carriages. Obviously, there's the front one. You made the pass, but we're stripped to 25. Let's see how the passengers, the passengers of you. Pretty sure everyone who uh, rides a train gets this. You know, you clearly know what you're doing. So I'm roughly five miles away from my next target, which would be Bradley Platform Two. There's a train about to pass us now. Okay. I should see it coming. There go. There's our next destination spot. from our train as it passes. I wasn't able to uh, see the train that stopped at the station alongside us but I'm assuming it's a uh, 
a much faster one. We increase our speed a bit till we reach our restricted 25 miles an hour. I think that's a 90, isn't it? In about 0 0.3 miles. Oh no, we are at 90. So that's blaster. You know, I don't think we're going to reach uh, 90 miles an hour. Can't really see it happening. So that's the size of our train really, it's ridiculously small and uh, Bradley's not that far in, fr in front of us. And I'm pretty sure we're on the right track. So no harm done, it's just a four minute ride. To our next destination. Yeah, I think it was here when uh, I could have gone past ninety. The train isn't too far from the uh, passenger view. Uh, just wish there was a way to uh, turn the character's head. There you go, I just thought I'd blow the horn for my own amusement. I don't know, is um, that what the train's actually supposed to look like? station will be at Brooklyn 2 and then Didcot 4 or Didcot Parkway 4 that's going to be pretty much tough to get to and then Chelsea 4 which is our next destination then Goring and Strat Streetly 4 then Pangborn 2 Carlhurst, Pack 1 4, then our last stop will be Reading Platform 7. So it's, I mean, it does sound easy, but when you come to think of it, it's not really as easy as you think. The hardest part is trying to get your uh, train to the right station, the right platform, and the, without either coming off the rails and going over the speed limiter. I mean the easiest part, it's going to be all easy till I get to Dick Hot Park by far. I mean look at that. Yeah. 
platform design looks absolutely ridiculous. Unless there's a way I can find a, find a way there. I mean, there's a loop line right there. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to use it. Guess I'm going to see what happens when I get there. So I'll keep the video running until I reach the next platform. Don't really like the overhead shot. Just wish I could uh, change the view so we only have side shots from uh, our locomotive. Because I'm showing it so ridiculous, it's more than quickly switch back to the driver's camera. I'll uh, switch to the outside here but I'm not sure if you're allowed to look at the outside view but for this one in real life we've got a mirror right here in front of you or a window right here in front of you it's not raining so I don't have to put the window wipers on not too dark so I don't have to put my light on either. It's not like the uh, calls to, to Newcastle task which uh, it was done you know, at night or the early hours of the morning. Okay we're approaching our platform now so I'm going to slow the train down a lot. down now because um, platform's only a mile and a half in front of us and we're kind of approaching at over 70 miles an hour. I think I'm going to have to keep doing this for every station I come to. I think this is the worst part about using a passenger train when it's when it has to stop at every station. It's like the uh, Mersey Rail service from Fox Cross to Southport, the uh, rail line service from New Brighton to Liverpool Central, where it has to actually stop at every station on the timetable. And it's uh, really frustrating. Well, whereas you uh, travel from a Virgin Pantolino Express from Liverpool Lime Street to London Euston. It only stops at one corner crew and it gets you there in about one hour and fifty odd minutes. wasn't like the chasing yellows task in which we only stopped at two stations the only trouble we had was passing 
one yellow signal after the next. Which meant we had to slow down, we couldn't go to our top speed. Whereas this one, you had to go the speed you want to go, but then you had to slow down to be the uh, next station for when you approach it. I Meaning you can't reach the speed you want to go, which is 90 on this track. So we have to slow down when we come to Dukat anyway. Hopefully I won't do the uh, same mistake like I did in the Spoon to Military Task when I was starting out. In which, if you remember, I overshot the first platform and I had to go back and let the passengers out and uh, as a result of that I didn't do the task properly. However, I did do, I, I redone the task uh, off screen and did it properly. As a result, I passed it. So, um, because I've done a few missions on the uh, eastern coast main line already, I'll be uh, I'll be focusing on the Great Western main line, which has a few tasks. I'm uh, probably going to do the, more on the Marais Pass. I'm yet to um, do episodes on the Isle of Wight and the uh, London to Brighton line as well. But as I pointed out, I've done one of the tasks off screen to unlock more tasks. Uh, any task that is uh, unlocked. If any task that comes to uh, unlock all the other tasks, they'll be done off screen. Because they're mostly engineering, piss poor tutorial guides. When I clearly know how to run one air train to the next. Actually, if you take a closer listen, you can actually hear my train rattling as I approach the station. Not long came back from a three day holiday and I'm already arguing. Can't wait to get my own home, really. So here we are. Approaching our first platform, our, our first destination, our first many of that. We'll just wait until the last platform by pa passes through, and when I reach uh, zero point 
zero one miles, I guess. Even though I'm actually there. I suppose here I'll do. Uh, we let the passengers out and back in again. So our next, next task is to Applewood 2. Well, so I'm obviously going to uh, stop here at the right platform. It doesn't look too far, so. Probably uh, come back to you guys when I approach Didcot Parkway 4, which is the uh, most complicated of the lot. As we watch our passengers board and leave the train. At this point, we're scheduled to leave. We're just going to wait until the red bar over here runs out. Hmm, looks like we're uh, falling behind already. So, we're going to have to absolutely floor it to the next, uh, ne to the next station. So, I'll come back to you guys in just a moment. Actually, looks more complicated than you think. I mean, just look at all that. What is that about? Well, according to the map down below, it says we're heading in the right. No, it says we're on the right path because we're approaching a 40 mile per hour speed limit. We're going to have to slow it down a lot. Yes. But we're going to need to uh, slow down enough just to uh, negotiate every switch track, every turn, and everything. I mean, there's a 70 year uh, speed limit at the very moment we leave the station, but I don't think it's uh, going to be worth doing uh, 70 miles an hour because we've got few more stops to go after that. I think we're actually going to have to s switch from uh, one track to another. 
so I didn't really need to pack. How about switching the air st to the right station because it done it automatically for me. Oh, there's a reason for it. There's a good string right there in front of us. I don't know, is this what Dick Parkway is actually like when you come into it? Yeah, at least I know I'm on the uh, right track. Uh, I understand that right, that road down there is probably just a side. It might be a side that I'm if I'm mistaken. Right, we're, we're just a uh, half mile away from it now, so I'm about to slow down a bit. I guess some of these turns might be too sharp, so I might over to it. Hmm. I'll get into the stairs. Oh shit, that's so down. Realized it said 25 at the bottom, but I didn't. Well, it says 25 on the monitor, but it didn't say 25 on the map down below. So I'm really, really going to slide down. I'm assuming these tracks are a bit old. Not used in a while. Something like that. What's this the reason for it? Are there just too many trains to go through here? So for a reason. So I must have uh, came across the loop line. I'm gonna look at the uh, map just to make sure. Oh no, I was, I was going the right way. Let's uh, go back to the task. There should be a train right there waiting on their platform three. Could be one of my own. Could be a different class. I'll find out when I get there. Mm. Oh, God, I'm running a bit behind schedule. Looks like that air goes trains coming. Getting ready to go. That's going to have to wait until I'm out of the way first. The train should have violently a bit there, but luckily we're still on the tracks. Oh, this is what it's like when uh, you get the train from uh, my place and uh, go to Liverpool. We have to go through Edge Hill. Go and negotiate a uh, goods yard as well as uh, go under a, a rail bridge that no one really uses. Uh, I'm going to slow down a bit. And, uh, the rail doesn't look too healthy. Mm. So I don't know, is this what Dick Cut Parkway actually looks like when you uh, wait for your train to arrive or wait for one to pass? 
I'll have to look at the YouTube video again just to make sure. Anyway, we've just arrived at our station now. And we're going to have to wait until the passengers... Sorry, not the passengers, I have to wait until I stop and let the passengers uh, board and leave. Yeah, it's definitely one of my own that was waiting. But it's been there since I uh, since I started my task. Don't know what it's doing there for, but either way, I'm here. Hope it wasn't one of them electro star tasks where I had to join one train to another. Oh god, I think I've uh, came in too hard really. It says I'm, I'm allowed to do 70 again, so once I uh, leave the station, I'm going to absolutely belt it down. Yeah, we've got a few poor angles from this train. Well, when you're at this uh, station anyway. God, that train has not moved once since my task has started. I don't suppose it's broken down or drivers run late or something. And my next station after this one is Chelsea. Platform four. And I've got another few stop, three stops after that till I reach the uh, last station. I'm assuming Redden's at the end of the line. Anyway, um, at least I uh, got here safely. I'll uh, join you guys again when I uh, approach Redding Platform Seven. I just want to let you guys know that I have stopped at all the stations that I've uh, been scheduled to stop at. Uh, I think it was at, I think it was two stations ago where I nearly overshot the station entirely. And yeah, nearly shades of uh, that going to Middlesbrough cat and a task on the uh, eastern coast main line, which uh, was uh, pretty funny, but. Not if you're uh, trying to do this task. Uh, I'm approaching the 50 mile per hour speed barrier in just a moment, so I'm going to slow the train down as I approach the seventh platform of Reading Station. Any minute I'll be approaching some yellow signals telling me to slow down as I approach the end of July. And, oh no, it's double yellows I got. I'm looking at the signal. It's a uh, probably double yellows for both sides, both for the track ahead and the track to the right, but I'm going straight on. Still, a, a, like, still like a quarter of a mile until I get there anyway. But I'm 
and slow down until nearly enough so I can get there under 50 because if you remember when I passed with Dick Cott it was scheduled I was limited to 25 miles an hour but uh, I approached it at 50 Now, so which means I am obviously approaching the, the last station. And now we pass 50. And then we've got a 25 uh, mile per hour barrier just up ahead, but that is just outside the station. I've got to be careful not to uh, go in there too fast because if it really is the end of the line, I'll just uh, crash into the, <laughs> I'll, I'll just crash into the buffers and the train will derail. Could be worse. I could have uh, mounted the entire platform. I, once I pass the next signal, I'm gonna I can slow down even further. I'm gonna slow it right down. Now, is this what Reading's actually like when you come into it? Because I've not been to Reading before, so I won't know what the station looks like until I. If I go, if I go to bed, I think I'd probably see it for myself. Approaching at 30. That is not a good sign. As technically, shouldn't have uh, came in too quickly. I've got it on minus 100% now, so I'll be slowing down a lot. Well, I could be stopping at this point. Because Reading Platform 7 is right in front of me. So we're just going to coast it in, really. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's not good. Stop. 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 Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. There we go. Just coast it in now. Nothing to worry about. It looks like a crew station to be honest. There you go, just there. Uh... Oh, I can't stop the train. I can't move the train forward. So I'm assuming I've uh, arrived now. So I think we've done a pretty good job there. Uh, despite the delays that I had, uh, I think it went pretty well. Yeah, like I pointed out in one of the previous stations, which one was it? I think it was uh, Pangborn, was the one that I uh, nearly overran.
So again, uh, I'm not sure if this is what the Reading station actually looks like, but it, does it actually have its own personal siding for a, a local train, whilst all the other uh, trains have its own express line? I'm actually going to turn the uh, end of the train ar camera around. Oh, it'll be safe anyway. And uh, that's what the ca the carriage has been like since I got in. Hey man, you're dead or what? Well done, you managed to successfully stop at each station. The scenario is complete. So that rounds off my latest episode in the Train Simulator series. The Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna try. Thing Bob just uh, went off on me for a moment. Yeah, it took 40 minutes to do as planned. Um, I uh, used the emergency brake 12 times, speeding twice, speeding one or two. So no fatal mistakes though. And the engine that I was using was a class 166. N S E. So um yep, so that's another task done in this uh, Great Western Main Line uh, line routine. There's still a few. In fact all the easy tasks on the East Coast Main Line are done. Uh there's one, two, three, four uh tasks left on the London uh to Brighton line, the easy tasks. Uh there's a couple of Easy tasks on the uh, Mariah's past to go. The engineer training will uh, be done off screen, all three of them. So, Wood to Cali spell is the only easy task left. And then we've got all the Isle of Wight tasks to do. I might do one of the uh, Isle of Wight tasks actually. So, uh,. Or maybe one of the uh, London to Brighton lines, so I can get someone out of the way before I uh, download any route and any locomotive to continue the series. So uh, thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, please comment and rate me videos. Subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying the series. And I'll see you for the updates later this week.